really see uh, Mr. Ailey's humor. You know, I mean, of course he's known for these marvelous dramatic works. What I also love about it is that you see his ability to take the classical dance uh, idiom, ballet, and fuse it with modern dance and jazz dance in a very clever way, never uh, sort of losing anything from either one. First of all, the title. You know, Pas de Duke. Well, the composer is the great American composer Duke Ellington. Uh, but so he's also playing on that because it's coming from the French term Pas de Deux, which means a dance for two. Which really, when you look at jazz and when you look at that as an American art form, when you look at modern dance as American art form, uh, you see that, that there's this sense of fusion. Uh, and you see that in Pas de how to Duke. Um, it, it's, it's wonderfully uh, funny, it's competitive between the two dancers, but never losing that sense of camaraderie. The River, a, a choreographed by Alvin Ailey. Uh, first of all, he made this work for the American Ballet Theatre. Uh, again just shows his versatility uh, to remain who he was but also sort of use the dancers that were in front of him and, and really work with them where they were. I think that's the culmination that, that makes this work so rich. This again is a collaboration with the great uh, Duke Ellington uh, and it's just one of many collaborations that they did together. In fact, it was uh, Duke Ellington's first symphonic score uh, created for dance. And all of a sudden the music will change into something very bluesy and jazzy and then the dancers maintaining that balletic sense all of a sudden start to bend like the notes start to bend uh, as they do in jazz and blues. Again it shows Mr. Ailey's great versatility. Um, this to me is so much a part of what people love about the company. You don't know what you're going to see, you don't know what to expect, but you know it'll be good. He wasn't afraid to try something different, and that difference is the river and other works like that, that, that he sort of stuck his neck out. Anytime we bring back his work and his memory, we're reminded of his versatility, reminded of why we're still here, we're reminded of why audiences love us so much because you can expect the unexpected.